This series is brought to you by viewers like you. Thank you for watching, liking, and sharing the videos. Without your support, this wouldn't be possible. Help me make more content by becoming an insider at patreon.com slash Jeremy King. So another issue I've been having, uh, and man, this has been driving me crazy for weeks, weeks, many weeks, <laughs> is uh, extremely high uh, hard drive activity. So I would open up my um, task manager and just as an example here, uh, my disk two, my E drive, uh, I would start up Steam and I'd open a game. And it start, I noticed it started happening with Fable. Uh, and this Fable is a game that was developed uh, by Lionhead Studios back in, I don't know, 2005 maybe. It, it's an old game now. And the weird thing about it is that um, disk transfer rate would drop down to zero and if I have a picture of it saved somewhere I'll overlay it right now so you can see what I'm talking about and the active time here would shoot up to 100% and it would just sit there for like five or ten seconds and everything would freeze my game would freeze uh, depending on the game uh, for example in Destiny 2 just the audio would stop and I knew, like, okay, I'm in the middle of a cutscene, the audio just stopped, I'm having an issue with my SSD. And that's the thing too, I'm running my games off an SSD, and it was a brand new one. So, you know, a game like Fable that's well over a decade old, um, it, it, it shouldn't be having an issue like that. I remember playing it when the game came out on my PC over a decade ago, and... You know, just running it off of a old school spinning platter hard drive, uh, and I certainly didn't have issues with it back then. So I was trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, so of course I went digging through the rabbit hole of Google and found so many things because in Windows, so many different uh, background processes and applications can uh, cause this similar thing. So. You know, I went through everything and couldn't for the life of me figure out what was going on. And if you find yourself in a similar position and you've tried everything you could possibly try uh, and it's still not working, just give this a try and see if it works. It'll only take a second. I should also add that I went as far as uh, I, I replaced my power supply cable to the SSD and I replaced the data cable to it on my motherboard and I swapped ports and I tried so many things I exhausted so many different avenues first on the software side of things in Windows 10 and then I did the hardware stuff and I was just like okay I guess I'm gonna have to just deal with this and I just kind of stumbled across this one last thing. And the reason I stumbled across it is because I was having issues opening up uh, Adobe After Effects. Couldn't figure out why all of a sudden Adobe After Effects wouldn't open anymore. And uh, it was really frustrating because I was in the middle of a project. So again, uh, it comes back to the same with the other couple of videos that I've done uh, in the past couple months uh, as far as like tech solution things go like this it's a Windows 10 update issue and this one specifically has to do with access uh, control for folders I think in having something to do with ransomware uh, in the security suite of Windows 10 so this is how I fixed it um, and I'm hoping that this is a permanent solution if not uh, I will probably post and pin a comment down below and you'll know if this ultimately didn't fix it but I've opened up a few games and everything seems to be running fine so far so I, I'm pretty confident right now that this is what it is so anyways what I did was I opened up Windows Security and you can go down to the let's move that over so you can see it uh, go down to the threat virus and threat protection tab so I was already on it, but here it is. Scroll down to the bottom and you'll see a ransomware protection. Click on manage ransomware protection. 
Controlled folder access. So again, ransomware protection is there for a good reason because you don't want your computer to be held hostage. If you don't know what ransomware is, definitely give it a Google. It's absolutely terrifying. Nobody wants to lose all their data uh, in this way. So controlled folder access, protect files, folders, and memory areas on your drive from unauthorized changes by unfriendly applications. So it's turned on and that's good. It should be turned on because like I said, you don't want your computer to be held hostage. Uh, so there's a uh, protected folders that you can go into. These are all the different places, usually like the, your user folders that are being protected. That's fine. Uh, but we want to go down to allow an app through controlled folder access. So click on this. When I first did this, this was empty. It was all blank. And when I clicked on add an allowed app, um, and again, I'll just, re I'll read this really quickly. Uh, allow an app through controlled folder access. If controlled folder access has blocked an app you trust, like After Effects for me, which is what led me down here again, you can add it as an allowed app. This allows the app to make changes to protected folders. So when I opened up Adobe After Effects, I also got an error about, hey, we can't find your, uh, your user directory. That's what led me here. Um, and it just so happens, the reason this is connected to the high uh, hard drive activity time and everything freezing is that when I went to add an allowed app, you can see the recently blocked apps. So I clicked on that and in that list was this vssvc.exe. This exe has to do with making backups uh, on your Windows system. So. There are a bunch of, th everything that's listed here was being blocked by this controlled folder access. Uh, my defragging software, After Effects, C C C, uh, C Cleaner. I always wanna say too many C's, but C Cleaner. Uh, and all these things are proper things like powerconfig.exe. This has to do with controlling your, uh, your power profiles. And I, for a while I thought that it had something to do with my power profile, specifically for the SSD. So I dug into a whole bunch of registry uh, how to's to try to figure that out as well. But once I allowed access to all these things, I kicked up a game and not once have I had an issue with high or 100% uh, hard drive activity while at the same time having no disk transfer rate, having it sit at zero. And again, I'll try to find a picture to overlay uh, of to show you exactly what this looks like because it would happen so often. It was driving me crazy and it was making games unplayable. So anyways, give that a try. Um, you know, there's a million things you can try, but give this a shot and I hope it works out for you. Let me know down in the comments below if it did. If it didn't, Godspeed in finding a solution. Uh, it seems again that uh, the latest Windows 10 update has just brought a slew of issues for me anyways in my setup and judging by my microphone muffling solution video that I posted uh, a little over a month ago a lot of people are having similar issues so again I hope that this helped you let me know and uh, yeah good luck and I'll see you hopefully in the next video cheers